Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress on the longest day of the year, which is December 21st here in Wellington, New Zealand. This is the first time I've ever had the summer solstice in December. Normally, December 21st is a day when my family and I make green chili stew and we burn a Yule log with uh, the remnants of last year's log and we burn this big old log to represent our fortitude for surviving the winter and getting through until the next part of the year. And here, we don't have to do that because it's the longest day of the year. It's December 21st and I woke up this morning to birds at 5.30 in the morning already awake before me and it was bright outside. So this has been a real culture shock. There's a lot of culture shocks here in Wellington that we're gonna have to get used to, like the Christmas barbecue which is a thing. Uh, Christmas is the start of winter break here. I'm sorry, summer break here, because this is when summer starts. The weather's awesome, and Christmas is when uh, kids get out of school for weeks. Employees get out of school for weeks. As an American, this is kind of bizarre for me, the idea that workers get weeks and weeks off and the whole country kind of shuts down but that's what happens here. And so I'm really interested to see what happens here in summertime because I love summer. And I missed a lot of summer this year. I left in May to come here to New Zealand and I was here for three weeks and then I went home and packed and I had five weeks of summer before I came to live in New Zealand. And I got acquainted with New Zealand in the winter time. That's how I met New Zealand was in the winter. And I thought it was a beautiful country. And now it's blooming. Now everything is green and I'm finding more character in New Zealand than I ever ever knew before. Uh, th this is Wellington behind me and uh, you can see these trees have these bits of red in them. These trees bloom at Christmas time. I can't remember the name. They're Christmas trees of some sort. And they're traditional here in New Zealand because in December this is when they bloom and they turn red. And so I'm, I'm getting to see all of this. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we went on that boat, which goes to the South Island of New Zealand for my wife's 40th birthday. We're staying out there on the other side of Wellington. This whole place used to be an island before an earthquake in 1840s, 1850s, and then it raised up this little piece of land. You see that patch of land out there? That's now a runway, and that's where the airport is. And so now this is all part, well, this piece right here, that part over there, you have to go around the bay to get to it. And this is the city of Wellington itself. It's a beautiful city. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I've heard of Wellington described as a cross between Portland and Seattle, or excuse me, Portland and San Francisco and London. And I totally see that. It's hilly like San Francisco, it's urbane like London, and it's got food and coffee like Portland. The food and coffee here is great, the people are so nice, and I just love it here. And we, my family and I have been here uh, just a few months, and we're having a great time. It's amazing. All the same, summertime in December, this is new. It's kind of a culture shock. And so we're going to try a Christmas barbecue and see how this goes. So. Yeah, it's going to be a great summer.